the leader of the U.S. Marine Corps positioned in Norway, told troops on Thursday that there's a war coming asking them to be readied. General Robert Neller cautioned of an inevitable war saying there was a move of concentrate far from clashes in the Middle East and indicating Russia and the Pacific District. Saying that Russia and the Pacific would be the following significant territories of contention, Neller anticipated a major ass battle in the exact not-so-distant future. Not long ago, President Trump disclosed another national security methodology that concentrated on the dangers postured by Russia and China to U.S. interests. Press TV reports, while the Marine Corps Authority conceded that the U.S. troops would stay in the Middle East for quite a while to come, he indicated a slight pullback from that locale and a reorientation toward Russia and the Pacific. Simply recollect why you're here, he included. They're viewing. Much the same as you watch them, they watch you. We have 300 Marines up here, we could go from 300 to 3,000 overnight. We could increase present expectations. The remarks were made in the midst of strains amongst Russia and NATO partners, with Moscow cautioning Oslo that the nearness of American troops could hurt relations after the Nordic nation chose to have another unit of U.S. fighters through the finish of 2018. The organization will strain effectively tense relations with Russia, as it conflicts with a pledge made by Norway not to permit the arrangement of remote battle powers on its dirt unless the nation was under the danger of assault or for military drills. Russia and NATO have had stressed ties since struggle emitted in eastern Ukraine somewhere in the range of three years prior. More than 10,000 have been slaughtered in the war in Ukraine's modern east, where the Kiev government is battling master Russia powers. Russia has for some time been careful about NATO's extension eastbound, toward Russia's western outskirts. NATO has sent around 4,000 troops, comprising of four fight gatherings, to Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, and Poland as of late. The U.S. is likewise occupied with joint military boards primarily with South Korea and Japan in the Pacific District, as a show of power against North Korea in light of Pyongyang's atomic and ballistic rockets program.